All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to use um, a read-write class that uh, is a custom one um, that's going to uh, use the uh, print writer to write um, text to a file uh, that could be called in future sessions of your program. Um, and especially, I'm going to show you how to use this with a graphical user interface, which isn't always clear um, on uh, how to use it in that capacity. Uh, so I have this, um, as you've just these two classes in here. Um, this is the read write file, which I'll, I'll let me go over that first. Um, then I also have the a graphical user interface that uh, I'll show you. So um, then here, this is pretty straightforward. This is what I would describe as a helper class. It's um, it's a helper class in that um, you probably would never use it on its own. It's always called from another class, right? Um, and so. The main uh, variable here is this file name variable that um, has the name of the file where your data will be saved. Um, that is called from throughout the class. Um, and so there's two different write functions. Um, there's this one here called write uh, with no parameters that uh, basically what happens here is if your file does not exist, it will create it. Um, if it does exist, it's going to append to it. And here's what it's going to append to it. So there's this loop here that um, is using the scanner class to prompt the user, whoever's running your program, to enter data that they want to store to the file. Um, and so this is just a loop that's going to go through and ask them to keep entering until they press X. And I'll show you how that's used in a second. Um, the second one that's called write to file and actually takes a parameter called data. Um, uh, it does a very similar thing, but you call this from another class and send it um, a string that's going to be saved to the file. And again, if the file does not exist, it will create it. Um, if it does exist, it will append, um, it will add to it. Um, next, we have a, a read file, a read function that um, will um, look at our file. Uh, again, the same one, same file name that we uh, created up here and it's going to look at it and it's going to save each line in this loop it's going through and looking at it line by line and saving it to an array list and that array, array list is um, returned here um, so that's pretty simple um, and then lastly we have a delete file function that does exactly what it says it will delete the file um, all right so let's look at how we can use this so like i said we have this um, graphical user interface that um, a simple one that I created that is called password program password program is actually the outer class which is really just a runner class this main method um, will call the um, the constructor here um, which uh, the important um, line here is right here that calls our um, inner class which I appropriately named inner program and so this is where all the action happens in this inner class. And um, the one uh, key variable here is called um, end name, which saves everything that you uh, type to the screen. It actually displays it um, with this draw string inside your paint component method. And um, down here in this key press function is where we're saving each character that's typed. We add to the um, end name um, a variable and that uh, gets displayed to the screen right here. Um, so actually, if you want to see it in action, we can go ahead and run that. And I'll say, hello, world. I spelled it. When I press enter, it disappeared. Um, and that is right here when I press enter. Um, we kind of set it to empty quotes, which makes it disappear. So now we're going to change that and actually have it when we press enter, we're going to have it right to our file. But let me show you, let me back up a second and show you um, how we create our object is we're going to in with all our other class variables. Um, I'm going to create an object of the class. I'll just call it RW, short for read write equals new read write. So that creates an object. So when I press um, compile, I now have this line that's connecting us to the um, read write class. That means we create our object correctly. Uh, and so first thing I'll show you is that I could use that one write method um, 
if I call that in the constructor, I can actually use that in here. Let's look at how it works. So I'm going to run our main method. And so it prompts me here with the console. So I'm just going to type hello world, press enter, and then I'll hit X to exit. And so now it brings up our program. But if we go ahead and look at my text file, Ah, there we go. We see that it wrote each of those lines um, to the file. Awesome. So that's exactly how we wanted it to work. Uh, one thing of note is if you use this function, the write function, you should do it in the constructor, like one of the first things you do, because once your GUI loads, you can't go and use the console again with the scanner class. You won't be able to input anything. But anyway, we're not really... I'm interested in that so much. I just want you to see that you can use it. We're going to try and use it with our um, with our graphical user interface. And so um, right down here, when we press enter, I want to save whatever is, is stored in this end name to um, our um, file. And so this is what that looks like. So it's rw.write to file, and then we pass it the string that we want to save. So um, I uh, uncommented that out, so let's let's see how that works. I'm gonna go ahead and run, and so now I'm just gonna say, "Hey, press enter." That should now be saved that file there. People of the world, press enter. All right. So if we go and look in here now, um, there we go. So it's updated. There's hey there people of the world. So um, very uh, nicely done where we can use this file to save. Let's see how we can actually um, uh, look at what's stored in there without going to the text file. So I'm going to actually have some code here that I commented out. And what this is, is I created an array list, which is um, looking at that read function that I showed you earlier. And remember that read function returns an array list, so it'll store all the data in this and let's just do a, a system out and we'll look at each line each spot in that array list um, and print it to the screen and so now when we run this there we go so this is everything that's saved in our text file so no need to go and search for that text file we can actually use that um, uh, function to extract that information so there you go. There's the basics of using the read-write file. I hope this was helpful. Thanks.